diagram, if you check in this area, uh, we have uh, the suction of salt water. The salt water enter over there, and the salt water goes out here. In other words, to install a split unit like this, I need to make a through hole and install the valve, the strainer, the raw water pump per each equipment. I want to install one split unit like this or a self-contained unit. You need to make a through hole, install the through hole, the seacock, the valve, everything. This is the picture that I prepare for you. This is the picture of the pump relay system. Look at this, I have only one pump. Ah, what is the secret? I am going to replace, for example, in this, in this video, I have three compressors, three compressors. And of course, I have uh, three evaporators. I have three compressors and I need to supply water, raw water, to cool the refrigerant in those three compressors. Oh, I want to start other air conditioning equipment. The second one, the number two. Okay, the number two. I select in the thermostat the, the temperature that I wanted. Immediately that thermostat sends a signal to the board of that equipment and the board sends a signal to the pump relay. And the pump relay activate the pump and activate the solenoid valve and I have water for the second one. Or with the third one, I have the three at the same time, the three equipments working at the same time. Yeah, this is possible because the pump have the capacity to supply water for those three compressors. This is a wonderful picture. This is a wonderful system. We are going to repeat what equipments are involved in that design. I, the only that I need to introduce is the new raw water pump, the big one, with the capacity for the three equipments at the same time. That raw water pump is coming with that central box, the central box have a, a, have a, a, a PC board and the PC board receives signal from uh, the thermostat from the computer of each of each evaporator and uh, additionally send signal to activate the pump and send signal to open to open the, the solenoid the solenoid valves uh, per each compressor. You can buy manifolds uh, uh, fabricated in a nickel copper or you can fabricate those manifolds in a PVC like this. This is a, a manifold fabricated in, a, in PVC pipes and you connect this is the manifold for uh, ex, uh, in this particular case for one, two, and three compressors, and you have the solenoid valve per each per each uh, equipment at the input of the equipment. Yes, when you connect that manifold, you have exactly exactly the, the connection in the this is the this is the manifold this is the manifold in PVC that you fabricate, and those are the solenoid valves that you want to install. Uh, this is a solenoid. When the solenoid is powered, positive and negative, immediately the plunger closes the valve. Ah, this is a solenoid uh, valve to control the movement of the fluid. Uh, what type of fluid? Water, gasoline, diesel, gas, uh, alcohol, any type of fluid. The fluid, the fluid can be controlled. The fluid enter here and continue over there. You see the, the shape of that valve. Okay, when the plunger is uh, is off, uh, the valve is open and the fluid pass. When you activate, when you activate the coil, the window close and the fluid no pass. This is a typical solenoid valve or shut off valve. This is a good example of uh, the solenoid valve used for different applications. The solenoid valve used in the pump relay uh, system uh, uh, in order to allow that the raw water the raw water enter and continue into the coil of the condenser uh, according with the activation of the solenoid. The solenoid receives the signal here, they receive the signal here and the solenoid open and close depending on the signal and the raw water pass from here and continue into the condenser.